food is ready. Our point chain cracker and our set it. Delicious. So hello there! Welcome once more to Crunchwise Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, I'd like to say a very warm welcome to you. I'm making some goat light soup. This is going to be very authentic. I found myself some garden eggs, so I'm very excited to make it the way I learned how to make it growing up. It's going to be very simple, and I hope you enjoy this recipe. Come along and let's do some cooking! Let's take a look at our ingredients. I have here the star of the show, the goat's meat. This is five pounds. Thoroughly cleaned and washed. These peppers I'm just going to introduce in the soup when it's almost all cooked for color and for heat because I'm actually going to use just one pepper in the soup. I have here some peppercorns. This is Visa for a little uh, spice in there. I have some ginger, a little bit of garlic, some peppers to go in the soup itself. And for the vegetables, yes, I have here some garden eggs. This is, yes, an ingredient that I hardly ever get, so I'm excited to use that. I'm going to use these yellowish ones that are a little bit shriveled. That's how my mom taught me, perfect for soups. It makes your soup thick. These two white ones, I'm going to just put in when the soup is almost cooked for just texture. Bell pepper for color. Instead of tomato paste, I'm going to use a red bell pepper. Two large onions and some tomatoes. I'm going to cook my vegetables for the soup. So the garden eggs, I'm just going to cut up in halves. I'm going to use four of these. And like I was saying, my mom taught me to buy garden eggs that are yellowish and shriveled like this. It helps to thicken your soup. So my four garden eggs going in the bowl. I'm going to use just one pepper so that goes in. I'm cooking all my vegetables together so that's why it's not so authentic. Five tomatoes. So typically when we make soup back home or the how we were taught the tomato goes in after I you know, the tomato goes on top of the meat and then you do the garden eggs and everything separate. Then you blend the tomato later. But I'm just going to boil everything together and blend them together. They all go in at the same time. Okay, so these red bell peppers are what is going to bring a pop of color. Some people would want to use tomato paste so your soup is beautiful red color. But using the bell pepper serves the same peppers. Plus, you get to eat an extra vegetable that way. I'm also going to cut half of this onion. Just a half, and it's going to go in here to cook with everything as well. I'm going to add some water to this and bring to a boil. So this large onion I'm going to cut up and I'm going to blend it. So onions are going in. I'm going to add my ginger and my garlic. If your blender requires you to cut it up, do that. It will blend perfectly well in mine. And I'm also going to add my black pepper. I'm going to add just a little bit of water. Pretty much enough. Cover and blend. Perfect. So I have my meat here, I'm going to 
transfer them into my cooking pot. This is goat with all the parts. I have some liver, I have some try. All the goodies are in here. Some organ meat. Okay, so I'm going to add some salt. I typically like to season my meat very well, so I normally don't end up having to add any salt. If I do, it might be just a little. I'm going to also add my blended spices. Going to rinse my blender with just a little bit of water. Six, 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 yeah. Blender all rinsed out. I'm going to just transfer that in here. Give it a stir. Just a little bit of a notch to get everything all situated in here. So you see that is not too much water because you want the meat to cook with all this very thick but little liquid so it's able to really really absorb the flavors. I'm going to cover and bring that to a boil as well. Meat has cooked for about 10 minutes. So the meat has rendered its own juice. Pretty much enough in there, but I'm going to add about two cups of water in here. Because this was a very big goat, the meat is not too hard, but it's not that soft either. And I want it to cook and soften up a little bit by the time I add my blended vegetables in here. So I'm going to let it just boil until then. My veggies, I think, are pretty well cooked and softened. Everything is pretty much well done, so I'm going to just bring it off and blend. I'm going to transfer them into the blender. All the goodness and the water I'm definitely not going to throw out so the liquid I'm not going to let it go waste I'm going to just strain it and add So not much, but I don't want these seeds to go waste. This blender can crush everything, so I'm going to add that and blend. Absolutely crushed. I'm going to add my blended ingredients. Rinse out my blender a little bit and add. Pour that in here. Steris Association. Let's go to work. Thin it out. It's going to end up super thick, so 
Oh, it smells so good. You really should be here to smell this. Time for me to add my cut garden eggs, which is pretty much just for texture. So it's just two and I quartered each of it. This is just for extra texture. Back in the day, we are crying and I'm in no swan. All the Nadua goes, I said, but Nadua didn't say half. Right. Well, this has enough meat, but I just want that vibe, that texture, you know. Yep. See? Oh, you should be here to smell this. You should really be here to smell this soup. This goat is goaty. It is a milk goat. If that gives you enough information about how it is. A ponchino or your bini. A ponchino your bread. Or your bread eye. So we're going all out to make this chop bar style. So I have here my liver. And I'm going to take it and cut a little piece. I'm also going to add my pepper. This is not hot. This scotch bonnet is not hot at all. So it's perfect in here. Cut some onion. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt and then, I mean grind. At this point, it's almost done. It has really thickened. Garden eggs are cooked. I'm gonna check for salt. I think I could use a little bit more salt. I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon more. Stir. Soup is very thick. I'm just going to pour just a little bit of water to thin it out. About half a cup. Because I'm now going to introduce in my fresh peppers. So I need just a little bit of moisture for them to cook. So just for a cup of color, that one pepper in there, this habanero is very spicy. So just one in there is pretty much enough. But just for the eye. And then the dear point is, oh dear, no, my is extra special. I'm just going to partially cover. Soup is perfect now. Oils, the little oil that is in there has come to the surface. This goat was very lean. I told you it is a male, so not that much oil. And it's perfect now. Yes. We're gonna go eat. Yum yum. Food is ready. A punching crackrana set. Delicious.
Okay. Tender, okay. Breathe into the eye. Delicious. Okay. Great. Delicious. Amen. Delicious. Now I can eat with my hands. Delicious. You want me to stop? That's tender. You want to try a little? I know the cup is cool. That's good. Sure. You're a real Santa boy. Just take one and eat that one. Take one, cut the top of the soup, eat it, and then go to the next one. Okay. There you go. This is so good. I really hope you try it. This is so good. I really hope you try it. Thanks so much for watching. Try to give me a thumbs up and share. And until I come your way next time with something delicious, be loving, be crying, be happy. This is like SRC time, KNUST. Uh, <laughs>